Well, hello, good evening, everybody. It's about 10.30 on this Saturday night. Solid traffic here on Sulkhamvet on both sides. Really the wrong time to uh, be in a car. Even a motorbike is uh, having a hard time zigging through traffic. I am, where am I? I'm standing in between Soy 25 and 27. I'm gonna walk down the street towards Terminal 21. To see what's going on. I just had a little Thai food. So I'm gonna walk off uh, my meal. Here's the Carlton Hotel. Somebody was mentioning something in the comments about the Carlton. I'm not sure if it was a rooftop bar. Maybe. Let's go take a look. I know the Carlton is uh, lit up beautifully. I wouldn't doubt they have a rooftop. And here's the lobby. I'm just wearing a t-shirt and shorts. I'm not meaning to be disrespectful. It is a tourist town, so there'll be people in, in t-shirts, but many more people will be dressed up. This midnight, or uh, rooftop bar, I'm sorry, it does close. It says it's open from 5 p.m. till midnight. I'm just going to follow this gentleman in with his key. Okay, so there you go. Pretty beautiful view off to the right here. We're on the 33rd floor, if I didn't mention it. I... One of my favorite rooftops is the uh, Marriott at the Octave on Soy 57 in the Tonglai area. Just beautiful. Let me take you over to the edge and uh, give you a little shot up towards the soak. And I'm sorry, I have to speak over this uh, copyrighted music. Beautiful view. That's a soak. Terminal 21 would be up off to the right. So the rooftop bar, Carlton Hotel. And I think it's called the cooling tower. Now I just followed somebody in with their key card. I doubt it's a major problem to head up there if you're not staying in the hotel. I know we do it all the time at the Octave Bar. Well, I've been in there three or four times. And you also find the Carlton Club up here right next to the entrance to the rooftop. If I'm really into my miles and points, I'm not a Carlton Club member but it's always nice to uh, show up at the hotel and they give you your lounge access pass. Normally, well, all the time, there'll be drinks, wine, happy hour, sometimes drinks all the time. Other times there's uh, food. I mean, you can get a complete meal. You'll have to do it four pieces of sandwich at a time, but there you go. And I'm looking at the advertisements. Uh, here's a Japanese restaurant, Plunge. Okay, that's the swimming pool. And I think it said they had a Michelin Chinese. This is Thai food, chicken satay or Malaysian style. That's at the plunge pool. Happy hour, buy one, get one free. Three to five. And special promotions on beer. The good thing about the hotels in Bangkok, even your finer hotels, they're not going to really gouge you. You might pay, I'll make it up, 220 baht for a beer, but you can see it's uh, buy one, get one free during happy hour out in town. In Bangkok, anyhow, it's not unusual to pay 140 baht for a bottle of beer. So this is the Carlton Prime location. You're very close to the Asok BTS, Terminal 21, Soy Cowboy Party area. And we're on the corner of Soy 27 at the Carlton. Right across the way is Soy 20. I'll be the first to admit there's no easy way to cross Sukhumvit at any time of the day. We're going on 11 p.m. What you would have to do is go off to the right and at the top of Soy 18 is a footbridge. So don't uh, don't be a hero and try to run across this traffic like, like these two guys are going to do. It uh, is not fun. In fact, we'll watch them. They might do the uh, the old stick the hand out, like, hey, stop for me. Yeah, they got lucky. But see, you got to watch the motorbikes. The cars might tap on the brakes, but the motorbikes, they just look at that as an opportunity to uh, hit the gas. So rather than uh, take your chances, just walk up to the over bridge thing, <laughs> the walk bridge going over Sukhumvit, and that's nice and safe. And right next door is the Radisson. Now, Radisson Blues are normally the, I'll call it the lower tier of the Radisson line, but not this property. I looked this place up for a buddy and I looked it up two years ago and it was always 150, 170. So it's not a Radisson Blue like in the United States. It's a full price Radisson. It's location, location. Right across the street from both of the hotels, if you see that uh, 
little bit of red writing in the window. It says uh, milkshakes, hot dogs. That's Buddy's Bar and Grill, one of my favorite hangouts in town. There is uh, Buddy's on Soy 22. This is Soy 20. There's one up at Soy 8. I know there's one in On Newt. It's Soy 79 or 81 maybe. And there's one in the Siloam area. That's the only one I have not visited. And the Radisson has a beautiful lobby up. The few times I've stuck my head in here. I don't mean to be that guy. But as I'm wandering around, I know where all the nice clean restrooms are. And this uh, Radisson is no exception. Any of these hotels, just be cool and walk in. They don't care if you use the restroom in the uh, lobby area. They're, they're open. I was going to say there's normally a singer and a piano player down in the lobby. But I think some big football game is starting. And I'm not sure if the Radisson has a rooftop bar or not, but we're going to find out. And the B-Sharp Lounge happy hour, what is that, 5 to 7 p.m., buy one, get one free. There you go, Brewski's rooftop bar, 30th floor, happy hour, half pint, buy one, get one free from 9 to 11 p.m. That's a, that's a solid happy hour. Here's the lobby area. And I see they have a Let's Relax, the original since, I can't read it, 1986, I think, on the sixth floor. I see these different branches all over town. Very legitimate place. Here we are, Brewski's on the 30th floor, Radisson Blue, Sukhumvit, Soy 27. And once again, I apologize, I have a little uh, copyrighted music to deal with. If I let that play, they're just going to ding my video. And we just came from the Carlton. This is the view looking down Sukhumvit towards uh, my neck of the woods, Prom Pong. I live down and on the right. Way off in the distance is Sawanapum Airport. You can almost see the lights way off in the distance in that really unique roof. Bangkok is really a beautiful city. Everybody just hanging out enjoying this beautiful evening. No rain tonight, so that's a good thing. Brewskis, grass and blue, 30th floor. And this is looking off in the direction of Terminal 21 and the Asok BTS. And this is looking off the view towards Pechaberry. And just on the other side of those buildings, you'll find the beautiful Benja Kitty Park in the Asok area and the Queen Circuit Convention Center. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned the hours here at Brewski, 5 p.m. till 1 a.m. It'd actually be kind of fun to do a happy hour rooftop bar crawl. The time check, it's 11.05 p.m. Sukhumvit's lightening up at least heading away from the city. It's still kind of busy on the other side. It's always busy in between Prom Pong and Nana. At 1 in the morning, it'll be busy. It's just tourists, expat central, bars, even the locals. They're all heading into party in all those areas. Look down on this place. I don't know if it's uh, coming out. Sometimes the white light doesn't work so well in the low light, but the Pablo, I think it's newish. I've been on the train a million times looking down on the corner here at Soy 25 and it says pizza, wine, billiards. While I'm on Soy 25, I'm just going to take a very fast walk. I know it's a little tiny soy. It appears they have uh, some construction going on, so I'll try to stay out of the way. But there are a couple of small buildings that are really interesting. Again, you're very close, uh, maybe a less than a 10 minute walk over to Terminal 21, the Asok BTS, Sukhumvit, MRT, the subway. But I like these buildings. I'm sure they're gonna be a little expensive. Uh, lower rise buildings or not, this is some prime real estate. But we're on Sukhumvit, Soy 25. And like in any big city around the world, the work goes on 24 hours a day. I'd probably uh, rather be on the night shift than working in the heat of the day in Bangkok. I've walked by this building at the top of Soy 25 a million times. I didn't know the embassy to Argentina. And the embassy, I'm assuming these are embassies, they might be consulates to Peru are in here. That is the thing with some of these smaller embassies and consulates. They'll just be in an office building. I know there's one across the street from the U.S. Embassy which of course is a, I don't even want to know what it is, a 20 acre compound, it's huge. But right across the street is a building and you'll find New Zealand, uh, ooh, there's, there's just a bunch in this one office building. What was that TV show, The Flight of the Concords with uh, Murray working at the New Zealand Embassy, I guess in New York City. So here's the upper suite, Sukhumvit 25. 
I'm going to pan slowly in this low light. You can see they're not large. I'll guess 30 square meter, but prime, prime location. And the last time I walked over here, they were remodeling. I'm assuming this is a hotel. What is that? The Grand Fressa Bangkok? And the last little ro low-rise building down here is the Mela Grande. Which seems pretty quiet, but I see cars in the uh, parking garage, so I'm assuming their condo's open for business. And that's about it for Soy 25. It does kind of shoot straight ahead, and it's an interesting neighborhood. I've, I did those walks back up there. Just search the channel bar on my channel for Sukhumvit Soy 2527, and I'm back there walking around for 45 minutes. It's mostly residential, but there's a couple of buildings tucked in. I think the ambassador... We just saw the Peruvian embassy. I think the ambassador's residence is, is back there in that neighborhood. And I'm not sure what this is. SIUK, move forward, be great. An official UK university representative. Maybe it's a private business that uh, works with UK students to get them in college over here. That's great. And this building, I guess, is called the Vasu One. And I see something interesting at the top there. Siam Attorney. I believe that is who I used to open my bank account. They were in Nana two or three years ago. And somebody told me they called Siam and they said, yeah, we're out of the uh, opening bank account businesses. But it says full legal and uh, what is that? Notary services. I think they still do different visa services. I don't know. I did all that on my own. I just needed a little help with the bank account. And just a short distance up, you'll see the uh, walk bridge to safely get over Sukhumvit. Right as you cross over, you'll be at Soy 18. We're now coming up to the very busy Soy 23. There's a bunch of 24-hour uh, restaurants on the right. Little Italy, I think there's a subway that's 24 hours. You'll see that Shell gas station. So if you take that right, go up 23, not even a five-minute walk, you'll be at uh, one side of Soy Cowboy. The other side is at Ahsoka Montre, right across the street from Terminal 21. Yes, and do not be these people waving their hand, trying to run across busy Sukhumvit. It, for one thing, you'll get a ticket. There's signs everywhere that say 2,000 baht uh, for running across the street and why they would even attempt to do this. When there's a walk bridge 30 feet away, you tell me. And there's the uh, subway, this Little Italy. I think I had a meal in there once. It's not bad. I mean, if it's open at 4 in the morning, it tastes even better. Cowboy's actually closer than I thought. If you see the crazy house sign down on the left, that is right on the edge of Cowboy. So I'll walk down there and just give you a shot from across the street. Then I'm heading back towards the uh, Terminal 21 area on Sukhumvit. I've never walked inside this Jasmine City Hotel. If you're going to be uh, partying in Cowboy, maybe this is a good pick. So let's walk in and uh, take a look at the lobby for the first time. I'm not sure. Maybe they have a, a bar up there I need to know about. It's just kind of a simple place. I think they have a barn here, but I just went in the elevator and it wasn't clearly marked as a rooftop, so I'm walking back on the street. And this is just an example of uh, one of the great little restaurants you'll find all over town. I'm not a huge street food guy. When you have a little restaurant like this that might be five baht more, I'd rather just sit and uh, enjoy an easygoing restaurant than sitting on the curb somewhere to save five baht. And here's another one. These are all on Soy 23. Just a one minute walk from Sukhumvit or Cowboy. And I just uh, walked past a bunch of cops. Watch yourself up in this area, Cowboy or the Nana Plaza. Don't be walking around drinking a beer on the sidewalk. I'm not sure if it's legal or not, but there's really no sense in doing it. Sit in front of the 7-Eleven like everybody else and drink your beer. There's no reason to give the police any reason to talk with you. If you're really wild about Cowboy, the Edge condominium, right across the street, right there where it says Crazy House, that's the top of Cowboy. Let me get out of the street here, sorry. And there's Soy Cowboy. That's actually kind of mellow for a Saturday night. You can see a couple of tourists just walking down the street. It's as much a tourist site as a crazy red light area. So even if uh, you have no interest in the red light, still come check it out. It's a part of uh, Bangkok history. And here's another condo building, maybe a 10 rise feet from Cowboy. And also about 100 feet from Cowboy, you'll find Scruffy Murphy's. Great little Irish pub. Good food, good drinks. 
The only issue with many of these Irish pubs, my favorite O'Shea is up in the Prom Pong, Soy 33 slash 1, the Robin Hood, Scruffies, they all close at midnight. I'm not sure if uh, they have a restaurant license as opposed to a, a bar license or they just want to close at midnight. I know when there is a game that starts at midnight, sometimes they push those rules a little or whatever. Maybe they can stay open anytime they want and they just choose to close at midnight. But don't head over to uh, any of these Irish places at, at 5 till 12 on a Tuesday. I've never tried this Capone's Pizza. It's also feet from Cowboy. I've seen it on Grab. Interesting, I was walking up to Sukhumvit, but this says to the trains through this building, so perhaps there's a shortcut I'm unaware of. I'd love to find a new shortcut. And I'm, not, I'm not sure where it was pointing. I'm gonna assume through here. I know there's an MRT station. Nope. Maybe it's pointing through the office building. Or maybe it's pointing straight up here. It says, do not walk up the ramp. Okay, it looks like the uh, door is closed right now. I'm going to assume it's this big metal door. During the day, it's probably open and there are different little coffee shops and businesses. And it'll take you the length of uh, Cowboy, which isn't that long. I don't know, maybe a football field long. And then you're at a Soak Montre where you can catch the MRT Sukhumvit on both sides of the street. Still, that's good to know. I, I didn't know it was there. If uh, I don't know why you'd want to, but if you live down Soy 23 and you're heading over towards the BTS or MRT, kind of walking up Cowboys, kind of fun. <laughs> but if you wanted to avoid all that, I guess you could walk through this shopping center. And I'm back on Sukhumvit. We're just going to head a short distance up, and it's a Soak Montre on the right. It's Ratchet Apisic Road. It starts way up the way in Bangkok, and it goes on the, all the way down to Rama 4, past the Benjakiti Park and the Queen Circuit Convention Center. But this little stretch of road from here at Sukhumvit to Pechaberry is called a Soak Montre. It's the same road. And you also hear people call Ratchet Apisic Ratchada Road. Same, same. Here's the gas prices if this truck will get out of the way. E20, which I think is eth ethanol 20, 91, 95, and 95, or is E20 the diesel blend? No, I think the B7 is the diesel blend. I'm not sure. And almost on the corner of Sukhumvit and Asok Matri is the Continent Hotel. I don't know anything about it. Looks like a nice place. It looks like they have a fancy restaurant up on the 39th floor, Heights, Bangkok. A little bit lower under place, the Sukhumvit Suites. It's also right next door. And I climbed up on the Sky Bridge. This is the traffic heading into the Terminal 21 area. And that is uh, Ratchet Apisic or Ratchet Off to the left. Short five minute walk, you'll be at Benja Kitty Park, the Queen Sarah Kit Convention Center. If you take a right turn, you'll be on a Silk Montre and you'll hit Soy Cowboy in two minutes across the street, Terminal 21, straight ahead is the Ahsoka BTS station and the MRT, the subway the underground is the MRT Sukhumvit, right to the right and that's Terminal 21 straight ahead, you'll find Terminal 21's all over Thailand but this is probably the most popular the Ahsoka uh, location and where it says the MT, MRTA parking right, that flashing billboard right below is the subway, the MRT Sukhumvit and right as you walk across the street, this, this crosswalk's fairly safe. It's kind of the Times Square of Bangkok. There's normally a hundred people heading across the uh, street at the same time. Uh, that's a loud little Honda, but right across the way where that UOB bank is, if you're heading to Cowboy, it's not on Sukhumvit. It's just up the way. I'm going to pan nice and slow in this low light, but we're right where the lady is that says Aurora Bangkok Clinic, the billboard. Go straight down and you'll see a sign, Soy Cowboy. We showed you the one end and this is the other side. Again, it's a, I don't even know if it's as long as a football field. And here's the other side of Cowboy.
Terminal 21 again on the right. If you wanted to go to the Nana Plaza BTS, that's at Sukhavit Soy 4. I would just walk it. I mean, this is the Asok station. You could take the train down to Nana, but by the time you walk up all the stairs and get to one train, walk down the other stairs, you could have already walked to Nana. I guess it's less than a 15 minute walk. Just walk up this way. Now on the right here is the odd side. And this Soy Terminal 21 would be Soy 21 if there were one. It's a Soak Montre instead. So you're gonna walk up to 19, 17, 15, 13, etc. Then you'll cross the street down by Soy 5 and you'll find Soy 4 and the Nana Plaza. So it's very easy to walk between the two or take a motorbike. If you're gonna take a cab, even now at going on midnight, you're gonna sit in traffic for a half hour. And the BTS and the MRT, they both stop at midnight. Now the BTS, the above ground train, it's a little bit more flexible. I have jumped on that train. Let's say I'm here in a soak. I, I go to the movies at Terminal 21 often. So I'll come running out of the movie at, at 12, 12 say, or 12, 15. And I'll go running to the train and the guy's like, yeah, hurry, 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 because the last train left wherever, the end of the line at midnight, but he knows it gets here at 12.20. Now the MRT, not so much. My buddy lives up the track here, one station at Pecheberry, and he knows just from experience, even if it's uh, five till 12, they won't let him get on the train here at Sukhumvit. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but call it 10 minutes till 12. You, you get what I'm getting at. They won't let him even enter the train if it's anywhere near midnight. So keep that in mind with uh, your train schedule. As far as when they open, that's not really my my expertise. I want to say five in the morning, it could be 5.30. Hey, I'm gonna wrap up this little walk. I really appreciate you watching. I, I especially appreciate everybody that subscribed to my videos. I know I put a lot out. I think I, I put one out uh, every day for over a year. I don't expect everybody to watch all of them, but watch as many as you can. That really helps me, and uh, the thumbs up helps me with YouTube. It'll help uh, promote the video, and, and they'll show it to other people. So if you found a video helpful, yeah, please take that time to hit the thumbs up button. So we will see you later. There's plenty more videos to come. You have a great evening at uh, 10 till midnight in Bangkok, Thailand on this Saturday night.